Hello and welcome to SAP Analytics Cloud Tutorials with anubhavtrainings.com. In this session, we will discuss about concepts of static versus dynamic filters in SAP Analytics Cloud. So filtering is quite important when you want to do data drill down and you wanted to look at a specific segment of the data, which is based on time segment. And that's where the Analytics Cloud offers us powerful filtering capabilities. There are two types of classifiers in terms of filters, static filters and dynamic filters. Static filters are like fixed values. Suppose, for example, I want to filter data for year 2020, 19 and 18. In that case, I can go ahead and select static filters. But suppose now the requirement is to not go by hard coded time dimension. Rather, I would like to say that please filter for last 10 days. Now today, the last 10 days are something else than the next day's last 10 days. So for example, in 2020, if I'm doing the analysis and using my story, I would say, give me the last quarter data or last uh, two years data. So it will be 2020, 19 and 18, three years of total data, which will come. Now the same uh, dashboard or same story, if I open in 2021, since I have a dynamic filter, system is going to now fetch the data for 18, 19, 20, and 21 accordingly. So dynamic filters are very helpful to adapt and fetch the data depending on the dynamic criteria. Many a times you would also want to do currency conversions, and usually these conversions you wanted to carry out on current date. So that's where the dynamic values will help us a lot in SEC. So let's switch over to the system. So what I have here is a bunch of charts. Let me switch over to our application. So I built a story here with a bunch of charts showing the data of Netflix, uh, the release of movies and TV shows over uh, last um, couple of decades. And now what I wanted to do is I wanted to do the filtering. So I would like to see the data only for last two years, including the current year. So I can switch over to the chart and then I can come back to the release year and we have a filter option on trellis to choose. And now I can give filter by range or filter by member. So let's do a filter by range. And that's where you can see now two options to choose, which is dynamic versus fixed filter. So as you all know, if I go with the option fixed filter, system is going to filter my data based on exact number of years. For example, I would want this data only between 2018 to 20. That's a fixed value. And this value would not change. Uh, even you open the story tomorrow or day after, whomsoever access, it will be always a fixed value. So let's switch it over to OK. And now you would see system would show us, uh, will show us the data for the series of charts for those fixed range of values, which includes 2018 to 2021. So it filtered the data now for these last three years. And on the same way now, if we wanted to uh, open this report, for example, next year, we wanted to see only last three years of data, we would probably opt for a dynamic filter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cancel the current filter. And now I will go ahead and add another one. Uh, of course, we will also uh, go back to the filter, filter by range. And this time I'm going to choose dynamic one and please get me data for last three years. Yeah, so make sure that how many years you're looking forward for, what's your granularity and just click on OK. And now, of course, uh, you can just click on the hierarchy here to go to level two and this should show you the data for last three years, including the current year on the screen. So that's how you can exactly filter statically. And now the beauty of this dynamic filter is, for example, if I open the report next year, it's going to show me the last three years data, which includes 18, 19, 20, and 21. So depending on the requirement, you can always go ahead and choose different variety of filters. Another interesting feature uh, we would like to explore is instead of showcasing these percentages, uh, I would like to show the number. So you can see right now in 2017, we have number of um, TV shows were kind of 277 and uh, movies were about 682. 
but right now system is breaking it down in terms of percentage and that's something we'll see in the next video how can you go ahead and uh, uh, showcase instead of these percentage uh, the number the actual number absolute value for the for the pie charts so with that thank you so much for watching this session hope you enjoyed our session on sap analytics cloud if you're willing to attend the full length course on sac feel free to subscribe the course on anubhavtrainings.com with that i'll see you in the next video